The world is a population of over 7 billion people, but in some places, neighbors can still be hard to come by. The studio takes a look at the world's top five least densely populated countries and territories and what life is like for those dealing with this isolation. Fifteenth century populated is Namibia, one of few people per square kilometer, or eight people per square mile. Namibia also places fifth lowest life expectancy thanks to poverty and AIDS. The isolation of the world population might factor in as well. Namibia is home to two deserts, Namib along the west coast and Kalahari to the east. Former consists mainly of the southern coast, such a beast strewn with wreck ships and the bodies of sailors. On the Nubai and Golan border, the Himba, mad tribes to cattle, and hindered by customs officials despite crossing territorial lines. Northern central territory area has the Kanune and Okavanga rivers, similar to Namibians farming herd animals there. Yet only 1% of Namibia's land is able, only 10% suitable for grazing, leaving few resources and less incentive for development. Although adequate health care and public education are available, much of the country remains in poverty. Most of the poorest areas are the northeastern Kavango, Kapivi regions, where subsistence farming is the main source of income, non included events, both to protect livestock from disease, cuts residents off from aid. Other rural areas struggle due to drought, lack of nearby employment, redistribution issues as rich farmers seize land. Migration for south of the cities, mining and manufacturing jobs boost GDP. Still, little over half its people are left out in the countryside, and Bidia has a long way to go. The four places Western Sahara want two people per square kilometer, five people per square mile. Western Sahara is a speed section of Western Africa that is nothing but endless miles in the empty desert. Despite being twice the size of New York, territorial hosts only just over 600,000, majority near in and around the Un, near the Moroccan border, making the population density technically much lower. No arable land, the only economic value the Western Sahara has has been coastal fishing and plastic mining. Because it is, its people have remained nomadic and isolated for centuries. Most past Islamic kingdoms saw them as a mere backwater. However, today, much population is sedentary, as 80% live in towns, leaving the lonely desert for main 20%. Civilization was caused by various territorial disputes that continue to stay. It started after Spain left in 1975, with Morocco, Mauritania, and the Ukraine was in hopes of finding oil. Morocco annexed two thirds of the area, which defends today the 2,700 mile long fortified border wall. Swahili, natives being defiant in the fight for self determination, the small population has been largely overwhelmed. The world disputes many Moroccan immigrants, they have left their isolation, the city, life as refugee, and then Europe, Algeria, and Mauritania. There are still Swahili growing Western Sahara today, but numbers are dwindling and way in life all but gone. Third and I is Mongolia, also one two people per square kilometer, five people per square mile. Mongolia is a landlocked desert country located between China and Russia. Despite being one twice the size of Texas, it's home to only just a few million people, making it the world's least densely populated independent country. Starting in 1990, Mongolia began transitioning to market economy, forcing its million nomadic population towards urbanization, as that stuff became commercialized and mining destroyed the fragile environment. Today, only a third of Mongolians are still in the countryside, but the rest live in cities, including another third, Nambata, and its surrounding slums. Those left in the rural areas struggle due to information hunger, as they can be largely cut off from knowledge about the outside world. Telephone, television, and internet access are rare and expensive, making it difficult for rural Mongolians to rise from poverty and develop their infrastructure. Mongolia is only around 2,000 kilometers of railway, most of its roads remain unpaved, and majority of households do not have cars. Divide and prosperity between rural and urban areas is very noticeable, but is improving. Agricultural extension services are available in every province, providing relief from poverty as they increase agricultural production. The training, information, and technology. Mongolia has been providing more households with electricity, and the economy also continues to grow. The second least density population are the Falkland Islands, with 0.6 people per square mile. Falkland Islands are a British territory located south of Argentina. Total population is only 3,000, over 80% of them have been standing on East Falkland. The other large islands are Falkland, whereas the remaining 700 are still being inhabited. Besides dairy, 12% of the population camps out in the wilderness, while the rest is out at the airport for an immigration contact with the British military. The UK ends the islands, but the claims are disputed by Argentina, hence the need for military personnel, airplanes, missiles, and destroyers. Aside from contractors, few settlers save 14% for Chile or Sehan, making most people native Falklanders and definitely nowhere else. Outside of the East Falkland, nature is free to roam, including many species of penguin, albatross, and other Arctic birds. 
Rats and researchers reached an unique floor and found a dollar with 60,000 tourists a year. They said it was the main source of income on fishing wool. Wool is roughly abundant as there are nearly 500,000 tourist sheep on the archipelago, making there over 167 sheep per resident. Still, it is the fucking government and tourism that provides the most important as the agriculture industry has been in decline. Even without many people, there are still old necessities such as healthcare and education, making the islands quite livable. The least density population is Greenland, close to zero persons per square mile. Greenland is also the world's largest island, made of 150,176 square miles, home to just over 56,500 people. Because 80% of Greenland is in the Oversight Sea, most live on the coast, are the interior is uninhabited. Around 16,000 live in Duke, one of the smallest capital cities in the world. There are 16 towns and 58 settlements, populations ranging from 400 to 40. The self governing territory of Denmark, Greenland has good healthcare and education, of an, an economy dependent on fishing and tourism. Small scale population complicates communication, as there are few television and radio stations, while over 25% of citizens have no internet. Towns have a few roads and in between, leading transportation of goods to planes, ships, dog sleds, and snowmobiles. These methods can be difficult and expensive, so some settlements get only two shipments a year. The government is needed obligated to provide infrastructure such as electricity and water, wherever the settlement exists, regardless of size. Also in Greenland, the South Atlantic hunters and fishermen want to preserve their lifestyle, test changes such as apartment buildings, equal prices, and commercialized fishing. The other settlement residence makes it difficult for the children to have a good education. In the culture, government is doing its best to accommodate everyone. When it is in these remote, special popular places, it can be hard to communicate to the outside world and develop as a nation. Having a world of a population of 7 billion people, these places still offer a sense of peace and quiet, many living in every crowded cities are welcome. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Check in soon, the top 5 JFV video.